Yeah, pretty nice. There's a few pickers in there. And welcome. I'm Wes, this is Tom, this is the Hippie Explorer. We travel around New England looking for gold and other things. You see our time machine back there. You go in it, you step back in time to a date before indoor plumbing. We better check with the Hippie and see what this weather is gonna be like. Hey, all you groovy dudes on your slap heavy hippies, this is Hippie. And I'm here to give you the weather. Let's go! A little bit cloudy, 75% groovy, and 25% far out, baby. Gonna be uh, a little cool, about 55 degrees. No rain, nice and dry. Now, I would, it's fall, and uh, the leaves are on the trees, and I have a few jokes about autumn. But you wouldn't fall for it. <laughs> he wouldn't fall for it. Autumn. The leaves, baby. Thank you, Hip B, for that marvelous weather report. Now, we didn't even make coffee or nothing. We just got up. I'm still asleep. He's still asleep. We're going uh, to make coffee here, even though Tom melted the coffee pot. In case you haven't seen. And I'm going to hear about it every day. Yeah, and there's still plastic stuck to the coffee pot, too. Forever. It'll be a forever reminder. It still works. We're going to get out to Dunkin' Donuts, get a coffee and a breakfast sandwich. Well, let's go! Just wanted to take a moment to tell you about uh, a show. A uh, uh, we're going to be uh, on public display. On public display, all of our beehive products, our honey, uh, a, a, a lot of our candles. I don't know if all of them because we have a lot, but uh, and uh, our honey candy and all our beehive products. We're going to have pay dirt and prospecting equipment there, and it's one day only in Billerica, Massachusetts, at 306 Boston Road. Billerica Nutrition is the business that we're gonna be set up in for the day, and uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Check out all our products, get some honey, candy. It'll be just in time for Easter. So uh, we're gonna have a lot of Easter stuff. A lot of Easter, Easter stuff. candles, Easter soaps, Easter gift bags for kids, adults. Gonna be a lot of stuff. So check it out, March 23rd, nine to four. Be there. We just got back to camp and we were sitting here talking in the car and two foxes came by. I think they wanted to get into the time machine. What's the chicken think about the foxes? He's perplexed. <laughs> yeah, a couple of foxes running around. Um, yeah, we're back to camp. And uh, today, we're going to set up the recirculating sluice box here at the camp. We have some uh, concentrates and pay dirt that we're, 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 we're not sure which one we're going to run. One of them. Um, through the sluice. 
and get the gold out. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to set up the sluice. Let's do it. We're, we're always traveling. The truck's always full of gear. And the last time I came up, I had like four different sluice boxes. And now that I bring the stove, the oven for the stove, I don't have room. And I, and I don't like, I like to, the top that covers the top, that covers the bed of the truck. I like to keep that down so everything stays dry. So there's only so much room I can fit. This time, I brought one sluice box. This one, with the dream mat in it. And the reason is it's so universal. I can throw this in the river, use this mat. I've got another mat for it. And I can take this apart and put a header box on it and use it as a recirculating sluice. And now I just swap it out when I want a recirculating sluice. And I only have to carry one. I only have to carry that to swap it out. And that makes travel and a lot easier. This one here came from RDH Prospecting. And I believe you can get this same setup I have with the stand at Walmart now. Not with the dream mats in it, with regular ripples sell at Walmart. You can do like I did and put a dream mat in it, but you need one of these to hold the mat and get the material up over. And I just drilled two holes and added them. Going out on the river to get some water. over to the Coos Canyon Rock and Gift because uh, Johnny Turtle and Karen Forrester sent, left a gift certificate for us there. Thank you guys. And we're gonna buy a big bucket of the pay dirt and we're gonna sluice it out in that sluice. It's quiet around here today, huh? Good morning. I got it. We got the goods. Let's go. All right, we got the goods right here. Look at that chicken. Wow. All right, let's take a look at it. I love the containers she puts them in. There you have it. Gold and yellow. Nice pay dirt. And it's all classified down, so I think all I need to do is run that. You never oh, know what you're going to find in Rosie's pay dirt. There could be a shark's tooth in there or crystal. Yeah, there's all, you, you know, if you go through them, because you never know, because uh, the kids are doing the gem bags out there. I'm going to throw it through the classifier. Why not? See what we got. <laughs> not too much. Not too much. That's great. Everything goes through. 
you could get away without classifying that. Yeah. I'm real excited so. to see what we get out of this because we did one of these before and we did pretty good. I just want to wet this. So we're going to run it through the recirculating sluice and uh, we want it all to be wet. Let's start her up. Now we don't want this going too fast. We get some of the pine needles out of there. Let's put that in there and see how that's running. How's it look? I think it's running okay or maybe a little fast. I'm gonna turn it down a little. Yeah, I think it cleared out of that black indicator mat a little too quick. Right again. Go a little too fast. Yeah. Turn it down a little more. That's not bad. Is it even? No, it looks like it needs to go up over here, right? You can see how there's more water coming off this side. So we're going to loosen that and tip that up a little. How's that? That's better? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, that looks better. You see anything in there yet? Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Some nice size flakes in there. Look at the pieces See in anything? Oh wow! That's a beauty right there. Another nice one right there. Wow, oh, yeah, there's a few pieces in there that are nice. That's a really nice one. Stuck right there at the top of the indicator yeah, map. It'll stay right there, right through all of that. <laughs> there they are. All right, those aren't gonna move. Those are nice size. save all this tailings and add it to another bucket of tailings I have over there and do that at a different time so they get run multiple times Getting down to the nitty gritty. I see some. I can't wait to see. I like what I've seen so far for the size of the flakes. Ooh. Whoa, that's nice. What's that in there? Is that gold too? I think that's what's gold. Oh, I thought that? you were pointing at that big piece. No, yeah, what's that? That's a piece of metal of some sort. I don't know what that is. They got it out, though. But look at the gold. Look at that. That looks pretty nice right there. Oh, more over there. I mean, that's, Quite a, bit. that's a nice picker. Want to hear that? Listen. Wow, you can hear that. Did you hear that? Let me do it again. Yep. You can hear it over the river. Yeah, there's some nice pieces. Wow, yeah. that's a nice becca. And this, I'm not sure. That's not gold, is it? It's a piece of metal. I'm not sure what it is. I had to get my biggest snuffer bottle 
but I don't know if that one's going to go up. Maybe not. It didn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know it's a picker. We're going to get it and put it in. Picker, not a sticker. <laughs> It doesn't want to come up because it's so big. <sighs> Let me get a good suction on it. Whoosh! Yeah. And that, I'm not sure what it is. It's rusty, so it's probably iron. I'm pretty happy with that. There's some good chunky gold in there. This is some more gold that I found. I never washed out the V matting at the top. What more? Oh, I can. I see that from here. I found another big piece and another small. Holy cow! Yeah. That's pretty much a picker. Yeah. There's another piece there too. But that's a picker. Yeah. I'm gonna clean that up. Wow, some more nice gold there. All right, here's the real total here. After we cleaned out the indicator mat. Look at that. Pretty nice. There's a few pickers in there. And that, uh, I don't know, that old thing. I don't know if it's an old fish hook or something. That guy. Uh, listen to that picker. Here we go, one more time. Okay, we got that all straightened out. We left some gold in the box. But uh, I got a doctor's appointment. I got a virtual appointment with my doctor just to check up. Not a, even really a checkup, but I got a virtual appointment. And uh, there's no internet service here. So I'm going to go over to the Coos Canyon Rock and Gift and uh, do that. And then we'll come back to camp. Let's go do it. We just got back from the gift shop. Uh, I was over there using the internet for my do doctor's appointment, and everything's good. Um, now we're going to get an outdoor fire going. I'm, we haven't decided whether we're going to. We have an indoor fire, as you can see, going. It keeps the temperature nice in there. We don't even know what we're cooking for dinner tonight because we're pretty much out of food. Yeah. Right, well, let's look around. Well, it might be the clean the cool. It's not our last day. But we're out of food, so I think we can scrape something up for dinner tonight, and then tomorrow we'll have to get something. But we need a fire first. We're going to do that. We decided on this cold, cool fall day that a coffee would be in order. And it started raining out, so we didn't start the fire. See the nice coffee pot with all the black lid <laughs> stuck to the top? If the handle had melted off, we would have really been in trouble. Yeah, I got it just in time. I woke up, wow, you filled that right up to the brim. The amazing part is I had to fill it in here before I dumped it in there. I knew exactly how much, I mean, it is right at that top. I think Hans L. Home has a whole new carafe for us. I told him I only needed the top, but... I had to start using my electric lighter here because the start is a little weak and the gas gets out here yeah. before it goes and it blows up in my face. Uh-huh. Stick it in that hole right there. Turn that on. Oh, done. Without the explosion. The explosion is more fun. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> Top of the day to you. Delicious. Nothing. Coffee never tastes better when it's cold out 
and you come into a nice cozy place with the fire going delicious could put you out even caffeinated coffee could put you to sleep uh because it was raining a moment ago we were going to start a fire outdoors we've been doing everything around camp here today so we kept the fire slowly going in here every time it went down almost nothing we'd throw a few twigs in so it's been warm in here all day a place a refuge nice in here really yeah uh, but we may go outside, not sure yet. We've got to scrape the cooler down, see what we can make for dinner. It's going to be a good one, because I have an idea, but I'm not going to tell you yet. Don't want to disappoint. So we're going to have some good stuff. I don't know what that idea is, but did you look? There's not much left. Yeah, we're going to have something good. <laughs> Can of peanuts? <laughs> I have the dibs on the peanuts and the... Junk no, food. we're gonna we're gonna make something good. Beef I got ideas. I looked. I saw what we have. <laughs> I looked too. I couldn't find much. Yeah. We decided after our coffee to take a walk over to the canyon and show you the canyon, Coos Canyon. I've never come into this part. This is the upper part, I believe. People jump off up here into the canyon. I'm not jumping. <laughs> Let's go see. <laughs> and that goes around the corner around down that way is the bridge over the canyon and people jump off here into the water down there it looks pretty deep you can't even see the bottom This is a sharp corner, We're right on the corner here. Goes by down that way. Let's see if we can see a little further around the corner by going up here. Now you really can't see that's pretty impressive nice canyon really cut through here that's a good canyon I mean it's not the Grand Canyon yeah but for up here in New England <laughs> that's a big canyon I mean there's not many places where you can jump off the cliff walls right into the river but you can here it's supposed to go over to the campground and ask permission when you're coming over here but they're closed and nobody's swimming here so we're gonna head back we just thought we'd show you <laughs> decided to come in and make dinner. I have no idea what this dinner is. I couldn't, this is, we're getting down to the scrapings near the end of a trip. I looked around, I couldn't find anything that yeah, looked. Yeah, we've got, we've got stuff, we've got stuff. Like a meal to me. And now we're going to use Rosie's cool can opener she let us borrow 
I could get that to her. We don't see it before we leave. We'll have to leave it at the shop somewhere. I like that thing, and it's so small and compact. Yeah, look at that. It goes right around zoom. Oh, a can of hash. I know what that is. And peppers. I wasn't thinking hash, because that's what we had for our breakfast. Now over here, we've got some butter in there. Because we're going to be making some omelets. And we want some toast to go with them. That's going in over here. Throw them right in there. Boom. Oh, that's colorful. Onion. Now you cut it, cut it in half, I hear, and then it makes it easier to slice. Doesn't roll around with a flat edge. I always cut my onions in half. I can't believe it's pouring out again. Off and on, they never said any rain today. Hippie didn't say any rain. Well, I don't know where it came from. Wow, right in there. We're gonna let that cook. Let me check my toast, the toast is done. Toast up some more. Okay, we're going to take this off. Because the hash is done just about the way we want it. I'm just going to transfer this to there. Alright, then we're going to throw the eggs in there. Like that. I have never had preps, so <laughs> this is going to be my first time. It's not craps. <laughs> it's not craps? Not craps. Oh, the crappies. Okay. Oh, it's not a crap. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, I know now. Right there. You had me stumped. Would you like cheese? Yeah, put a little cheese in my omelet. <laughs> it took me a while to guess. I wasn't sure which way you were going with this. Right? Yeah, that's good. Okay. That was pretty good. Maybe not perfect as a leak over there. That's okay, we'll fix that like this. It's not like it's chicken glue, you can't. <laughs> I think overall, you know, I'd give that a 9 out of 10. You know, it's not a Mills Market looking omelet, but it's a great looking campsite omelet. I'm going to cover that and let that cook good. Okay, here comes the moment of truth here. Well, not bad, not bad. That's a big omelet. That's like a 12 inch pan. There it is, all plated. Voila. It's almost too big for that paper plate. Hang it over the end a little bit. I'll take that one, here's some toast. I'll put that on the table. 
Mm. Here we are. Omelettes. What a surprise. I thought we had nothing and now I have a full dinner. Look at that. Breakfast dinner. Let me taste the filling. Now, that arm looks so hearty. It's a dinner arm. That's really good. It's loaded with onions and peppers. Loaded. Mm. That'll do. I'll hit the spot. We're going to do this, and then we'll be back. Here we are, in the corner. The omelet was delicious. Yes. Awesome. And uh, that's about it for this episode. Um, thank you for coming along with us and sluicing some dirt eating omelets. Well, we ate the omelets. You just watched. Don't forget to check out thehipbee.com. Get yourself some honey. We've used honey in the coffee. It's the way it goes. Always is. And you can get uh, other beehive products there. Lip balm and candy and prospecting equipment. Uh, our nice mugs. Makes a great Christmas gift. And don't forget if you can't get enough of us, you can hit that join button and become a member and get the all the behind the scenes episodes. We're going to be filming a behind the scenes after this for our members. And if you want to see that, you can be a member. You hit the join button. If you don't have a join button, go to our home page and uh, there should be a button there. If not, you can just send me an email uh, to, or a message. To, or if make a comment down below and we'll send you a link you can click and that's about it I guess huh I say it all <laughs> you always do yeah. till next week peace, peace.